Hi, be recapped here. Today I am going to explain American science fiction film called Godzilla vs. Kong. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Beginning of movie we see that. Five years ago from today, Godzilla and Kong got into a big fight. Godzilla went to the depths of the ocean after defeating Kong. After that day, no one could know about him or saw him. Now we see a scene after five years. We see an island there which was Kong's home in fact. Here we find Kong big than before. When Kong awakens from sleep, he has fun in the water. We see a little girl there. Kong liked her so much. They were great buddies. Kong never disagreed with her and accepted everything she said. But this girl can't speak or hear. We see that Kong is really angry. He was incredibly offensive. He grabs a tree and throws it up into the sky. It breaks the energy wall. We get to know that Kong was placed here in the town so that Godzilla does not come here. As these titans can defeat each other and it is a fear that they will fight again. As Kong bigger in size so it is decided to shift him somewhere else. Then we see a man who worked for a company. He was a hacker. The company in which he worked, made very modern equipment as machines, robots, etc. But that hacker doubts his company. The company is designing a thing that should not be made. Therefore, he hacks all the data of the company. He gets to know that this company is shifting a big object to Hong Kong. But suddenly the alarm starts ringing there. It was an alarm that Godzilla is arriving. In a short time, Godzilla comes out of the ocean. As he comes out, he starts destroying everything. No one was getting the intention that why Godzilla is killing everyone. Because Godzilla is a life savior titan. Here we get to know about Godzilla's nuclear power. Godzilla destroys the entire company using his powers. The news that Godzilla had arrived spread everywhere the entire world. But this time, his form is changed. He is not like before. In the past, he rescued people, and now he is killing everyone in aggression. The owner of the company tells everyone that his company is working on a project. They will get succeeded in making a monster that is compatible with Godzilla. A girl named Madison watches this news. She doesn't believe in Godzilla's crime because she knew him very well. She considers this news a myth. She claimed that Godzilla could not hurt anybody because he helps and saves humans. Madison goes to his father and makes him understand that he cannot do anything like this. Someone did something to him. Madison's father explains to her that these creatures and titans are just like humans. They can change moods as well. Like Godzilla has changed and he is killing humans. After it, Madison leaves and listens to that hacker's call. That hacker uploads an online video about that hacker. Madison decides that she'll go and meet that hacker. She'll look into the matter and ask why Godzilla has become aggressive. Why did he destroy that company? Later, the company's owner meets a senior doctor named Nathan. Dr. Nathan was a scientist in fact. The company's owner tells him that your theory of the hollow earth was accurate. This was the place where titans are born. In fact, Dr. Nathan wrote a book that under the earth. Another earth named hollow earth is exist. It is secret and no one can see it. It is a source of energy for titans. There, the owner of the company allows Dr. Nathan to meet another man. He informs Dr. Nathan that we have discovered an energy source within the hollow earth. We don't know where does it exist. It is beneath our ground. As we take energy from the sun, these titans take energy from the hollow earth. If they get succeeded in discovering the energy, they will be able to compete with Godzilla. Dr. Nathan asks, but how we are supposed to go there? Because my brother Sidi to go there a few years ago but he did not get there and died. Here we get to know that gravity was zero on the hollow earth. Therefore, everything starts flying in the air. The company's owner asks Dr. Nathan not to worry about this. Because his company made an anti-gravity vehicle, will go to the hollow earth with its help. The company's owner tells him that every titan has the capability to find his own home. Therefore we should seek help from a Kong. After it, Dr. Nathan meets his doctor friend. This female doctor took care of Kong. He tries to explain to her that we should send Kong to his house. His home is hollow earth and we can't keep him there for long. If he gets out of here, Godzilla will attack him. Kong is only safe on hollow earth. After some conversation, that female doctor agrees. Because they didn't have any other choice. Then they take Kong with their army to the hollow earth. Kong was chained. Kong's friend, that little girl, talks to Kong in sign language. Kong is big, according to the girl, because he is chained. The leader of the army says to the female doctor that we won't pass from Godzilla's way. We'll use another way so that Godzilla does not get wind of it. That female doctor says, yes, we should do exactly like this. Godzilla and Kong are old opponent, because both of them consider themselves king of the monsters. 
If they combat each other, they will wreak desolation. Then we Madison goes to meet that hacker with her friend. That hacker tells them that the company is making a big thing. That thing will be shifted to Hong Kong once it's made. Godzilla did not like this therefore he destroyed the company. Then we see that the alarm starts ringing in the ship where Kong was. That little girl tells the female doctor that Godzilla is arriving. Dear, Nathan says that as Godzilla is coming outside, we should free and unchain Kong as well. So that he competes with Godzilla and saves us. Finally, Godzilla comes outside. He was moving forward to them by destroying a ship. When Kong gets to know that Godzilla is coming, he starts shouting loudly. But he was chained. Then they attack Godzilla with rocket and missile. It doesn't hurt Godzilla. Godzilla destroys their planes. Now Godzilla was moving towards Kong's ship. Godzilla destroys their ships. Godzilla makes their ship upside down. Due to this, Godzilla and many people start getting sunk in the ocean. Then they untie Kong's chains. So that Kong fights with Godzilla and saves them. Then Godzilla and Kong get into a big fight. Kong throws Godzilla deep in the ocean. Then he straightens the slanted ship, allowing people to be saved. Godzilla gets up once again and he was going to the same ship where that girl was. Kong jumps from one ship to another and arrives the ship where Godzilla was coming. Kong punches Godzilla really hard. Godzilla also punches him back. Kong falls down. Kong rises once more and attacks Godzilla, who is thrown into the ocean. It makes Godzilla angry. Seeing it, he uses its nuclear powers. Seeing it, Kong jumps into the water to save his life. The light of the nuclear power of Godzilla spreads all around and everyone gets astonished seeing it. Here we get to know about the power of Godzilla. They start fighting in the ocean. Godzilla could breathe in the water but Kong who was like humans could not breathe in the water. Therefore Kong seemed to be defeated. Godzilla was taking Kong into the deepness of the ocean to kill him. That female doctor says that we should help Kong otherwise, Godzilla will kill him. They blast many missiles in the ocean. Kong comes outward to save his life because of this. Dr. Nathan orders to turn everything off. Turn off all the machines and engines so that Godzilla thinks that we are die and defeated. Then they turn everything off. Godzilla notice at Kong wrathfully and then leaves. The female doctor says that if we move forward, Godzilla will agree that we are alive and he will attack us. How can we move forward and how will we take Kong? Dr. Nathan says that we will take him by flying him up. On the other side, we look Madison enters that company with her friends. She wanted to check the thing that this company was making upon which Godzilla felt angry and attacked. There they find big eggs of an animal. As they found the eggs, their door gets locked. In fact, the place where they were locked was a machine. It was taking them to Hong Kong along with the eggs. Then we notice that the whole army gets succeeded in taking Kong to the Hollow Earth. They ask Kong to enter the den of Hollow Earth. But Kong reject to go there. They decide that they will ask the girl to compel him so that he goes there. Because he didn't reject that girl. Kong would be made aware that your family and many other creatures are present. Kong agrees to go to that den. Kong goes to that hollow earth den. They follow Kong on their anti-gravity vehicle. It was a unique world. They had anti-gravity vehicle so their life is saved. Many variant monsters were there in the hollow earth. Then a flying monster attacks their anti-gravity car. It was about to attack that girl, but Kong kills him. He separate his head. After it, Kong moves forward and everyone follows him. There was no gravity on Hollow Earth because everything was flying in the air. Madison and her friends reach Hong Kong. They get to know about secret weapons there. This company has made another Godzilla to kill Godzilla. Its name was Mechagodzilla. Its controller was the person who was introduced by the company's owner to Dr. Nathan. To check Mechagodzilla's powers, the Skull Creepy is left there. Mechagodzilla kills the Skull Creepy using his powers. Here the issue is formed that they needed more power to run Mechagodzilla. That power was only in the hollow earth. This was the reason, company's owner was oceanaching for an energy source so that he gives life to Mechagodzilla again. Later we see that Mechagodzilla is start. As Mechagodzilla becomes active, Godzilla feels it. He starts moving to Hong Kong where that Mechagodzilla was. Hollow earth was very beautiful. Hollow earth had an energy source in its mountain. Kong moves there and opens its door. He growls. Kong finds a weapon, axe, made from Godzilla's body there. He sits at a place with this axe like a king. Godzilla reached Hong Kong and now he was moving to Mechagodzilla. Everyone starts running to save his life. Kong finds the energy source there and he finds out that it can charge this axe too. Because his axe worked when fully charged and becomes more powerful. Godzilla gets to know that someone has come so he throws his nuclear power on the ground. 
that nuclear power penetrate the ground and reaches Kong. The company's female owner plays a trick on them. She sends a sample of this energy to the company so that they start the Mechagodzilla. The female doctor refuses her to do this, but she doesn't listen to her. When she realizes that Godzilla is going to come here, she starts running. But then Kong destroys her car. Kong gets ready to fight Godzilla holding his axe. Godzilla gave Kong a sign of war using nuclear powers. Kong comes Hong Kong and he attacks Godzilla with his axe gets stuck in the building. Availing the chance, Godzilla falls down the Kong and they fight a lot. Godzilla tries to kill Kong many times using his nuclear powers. But Kong fights with courage and survives every time. Then Kong attacks Godzilla with his axe and he gets injured. Godzilla becomes angry and throws Kong away using his nuclear powers. But Kong stops that power using his axe. They get into a big fight for a long time. As Godzilla was very powerful so it seemed that Kong will get defeated. Godzilla injures Kong and throws him there. He starts growling by putting his feet on his chest. Seeing it, Kong also growls and Godzilla leaves Kong there. The owner of the company discovers the energy source that will allow him to activate Mechagodzilla. Here we get to know that Mechagodzilla is big and more powerful than Godzilla. But here Mechagodzilla controls everything. He kills the company's owner. Then he kills his assistant. Then Mechagodzilla comes outside breaking the wall. When Godzilla look Mechagodzilla, he moves forward to kill him. They fight a lot. As Mechagodzilla was so powerful, Godzilla looked defeated. Mechagodzilla hits Godzilla many times and he falls down. Madison and that hacker try to turn off the power of Mechagodzilla, but all the machines there were locked. On the other side, we see injured Kong, whose situation was very bad now. He was about to die. When that girl listens to Kong's heartbeat, she tells that it is going to die. Dr. Nathan says that we will have to give Kong an electric shock to survive his life. They give him shock using that anti-gravity car. Kong shakes and he was now alive and aware. That girl tells Kong that Godzilla is not our rival but our friend, so go help her. Kong goes there to save Godzilla. Mechagodzilla was about to kill Godzilla when Kong arrives there. Kong saves him. Godzilla understands that Kong and I should fight with him together. Mechagodzilla was so powerful that it hanged heavy on both of them. Kong finds his axe, but unfortunately, it was not charged. Still, Kong uses this axe and attacks Mechagodzilla. Mechagodzilla was about to kill Kong when he stops him. Madison and that hacker were unable to deactivate the machine so they put water on it. Mechagodzilla is turned off for a while. Getting the chance, Mechagodzilla charges Kong's axe using his nuclear powers. Kong was powerful now so he kill Mechagodzilla. He cracks his feet and hands and separates every part of his body. Eventually, he separates his head as well. As Mechagodzilla was dead now, everything gets back to its normal. But then Godzilla stands up once again. Kong takes out his axe and gets ready to fight with Godzilla. They do not fight because they helped each other, and Godzilla returns to the ocean from which he came. Kong entered the hollow earth forever. Kong brought that little girl with him. Here this movie ends. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification, leave a like to help the channel out.